Hey everyone, so I didn't know this, but Sonic updated their like touchscreen interface here. I have not been to the Sonic in a long time. It's actually been really intuitive so far because before it was this dumb little screen and the credit card thing would like barely light up when it was time to pay. Now it's like, how do you want to pay? Do you want to pay with the cash, the app? Apparently they have an app now and also with credit and it's just a touchscreen you reach out at. Anyway, the last Sonic kind of sucked. Like the speaker was hard to hear. Now the speakers are really good. They heard me. The process went well, so might come to Sonic more often given after 8 p.m. at summer's milkshakes are half off so I just got a large milkshake it was like two dollars that was this is nice look at all those chickens <laughs> look there's bread we should feed them have you ever seen um orange is the new black it's the road because Louise was going after them and she's gonna get hit by a car. <laughs> well, where are we, hon? We are at Casa Lupe. Wow, what's going on here? So it's their 50th, 50th anniversary. Yeah. What does that mean? Everything is from the price that when they first opened 50 years ago, 1968. This place is packed today. They got mad at us. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. you. Wasn't it our fault? Okay. No, it wasn't. So they had us make a reservation. A they said, come back in 25 minutes. We were gone for 20. Came back. <laughs> They're like, oh, we crossed your name out. <laughs> you can't get in. Wow, look at that. Mm, How that much is, so is all good. this? A dollar eighty. Wow. That's great. The fifties were a better time. Free chips and salsa. And free chips. Awesome. Yeah. Louise just requested a song. Despacito 2. Here they come. Subtotal and everything. 381. He's such a generous I'm such a tipper. generous guy. I tip them nearly 100%. That's a 100% tip for the excellent music and the yeah. excellent food. Free and live I, music. I covered her meal because I'm You're a generous, so generous. guy. Thank you. Six dollars. I, I think YouTube pays the big bucks now, safe to say. I'm rolling in it now. He can finally afford to take me out, guys. <laughs> In 1968. Look, hon, there's a yard sale at 940 Yanny. What? No, it says Laurel. It says Yanny right there. Where? Yanny, 940 Yanny. We're revealing someone's address to the internet. I'm sorry. Look at the back of this guy's car. Is this not run on gas? It runs entirely on oh my God. Coke Cherry Zero. That's amazing. Look, savemybook.com. You guys, donate to them. Coke Cherry Zero sponsored. can power a car for 300 miles. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Chickens! They're back. They're hanging out at our car. <laughs> they knew hey we were gonna come back for them. Are you gonna get it? There's some good boys. God, there's so many of them. <laughs> there's some boys. They're good dogs, Greg. <laughs> Eleven out of ten. <laughs> hey guys. He wants a slushy. Father's ha! Day. Frick. To dad. Sissy. Happy Father's Day. That's it. We just got a Amazon Prime package in the mail. Probably from a company of some kind. And this is not something that I paid for myself. This is something a company 
has sent me themselves because they want me to try it out. It's kind of a very interesting product they talked about. It is a Oidum. Oh, it is Oidum. This company made the AirPods charge case. It also made the Apple Pencil stand that I've talked about on my channel. So I guess you could say Oidum likes me, but they now also make a power bank for your Apple Watch that is also a keychain. So the idea here is to be a little portable battery. It's not a very big one, only 700 milliamp hours, but it goes on your keychain and then wherever you are, you can at least charge your watch one and a half times over if it hits zero percent. So that's kind of interesting. And it says it supports Apple Watch Series 1 and 2. Hope that also counts for Series 3. I gotta figure out how to open it here without tearing anything. Yeah. There we go. Okay, very tightly packaged sometimes. This stuff is Okay, now the sad part is it does charge via micro USB, sadly. Would have been way cooler if it was lightning or USB-C, but that's about it. It looks kind of like a key fob. A little, a little bulky for a lot of people, I think, but still, if you're on the go, thank you for including the micro USB cable at least. The grand reveal, the, ooh, wow, that wasn't satisfying. But if you're on the go and your watch is dead, you could just grab this from your keys and boom, sits there on its own little mobile charger. And I believe if I click this button, it should be able to turn on. Maybe I have to hold it. Yeah, power comes on there and charging. There you go, just right off the keychain. So that's kind of interesting. I don't think I'll put this on my keychain. I'll probably give it to my girlfriend because she often needs to charge her watch since she likes to wear it to sleep. So having that on her keychain will probably be very useful. So thank you all for watching this video. Hope you all have an excellent day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.